Good morning. We are so grateful uh, to be here at Freight Waves. And if you hear nothing else that Brennan and I say today, um, I want you to hear me say that we're so humbled and appreciative of the critical part of your business that we get to serve. My name is Michael Caney. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer of Highway. My name is Brennan Bailey. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Highway. One year ago, we stood on this stage and we said that all problems that brokers deal with as it relates to fraud, double brokering, fictitious pickup, theft, dispatch services, is at its core an identity problem. And what we said was we were gonna take on the task of establishing both the category and the offering around carrier identity. And we did that. We did that by forcing a carrier to prove three things when they go to a freight broker. One, who's the human being that's coming to open a digital session? Two, are they actually the motor carrier? And can they act on behalf of that motor carrier? Versus being a chameleon carrier or a bad actor or a dispatch service. And the third thing is, do they actually have the equipment? And we'd like to say that over the last year, we've done a lot to solve that problem. For brokers using Highway, we've all but eliminated double brokering from their network. Our current stat is around 97% of double brokering elimination. For Highway brokers that use motor carriers that comply with our protocols around uh, our digital and physical footprint rules, and that's a uh, that's something that we use and we update those attack vectors almost weekly. Those brokers have no stolen loads. Let me say that again. I had one large insurance carrier tell me that cargo theft was up 1,200% year over year. And for brokers that use carriers that comply with our rules around digital and physical footprint, they have no stolen loads. Now, despite all of that success, there was a problem that just nagged us. We still had customers telling us they were getting bit at the inbox level. The individual rep interacting with somebody in their inbox that was spoofing an email address or using a Gmail or doing something, and every now and then they would get bit. And we just couldn't let go of it. So today, we're going to show you how we go really deep on principle number one, which is the who. And Brennan's going to talk to you about our Outlook product. Yeah, so let's talk about email, and let's talk about offense and defense. I'm going to start with defense, which we introduced in the fall in a product called Highway for Outlook. Highway for Outlook is powered by the same API Anderson just demonstrated from front, where you could see Highway's information contextualized within your front communication. The same thing happens here. It puts identity in your inbox. And it meets the carrier rep where they already are. And so let's take this example here. This is an email received from Freight Bull. Freight Bull is a large, well-known carrier in Illinois. This is actually a real example. And, and he's reached out about a load he's interested in. Now, traditionally, as a carrier rep, I would see an email like this, and I'm trained to verify that the email address, sorry, that the domain in this email address matches the domain of the email address registered to Freightable with the FMCSA. We've all done this. And here, I can make that comparison and confirm the match, but there's something I've missed. And Highway for Outlook tells the truth. And you can see that that I in Freightable was actually an L. This is not Freightable. This is somebody pretending to be Freight Bull. Let's look at a couple of other examples. Here's Logan. Logan's reaching out about a load running to Texas, and he's saying he can haul that on behalf of Always Best, but he's not an authorized representative of Always Best. In fact, he's a third-party dispatch service. His relationship with Always Best hasn't even been approved by Always Best. And so here I should, I should use caution. It's not fraudulent, but I should use caution. And then finally, there's Camilla. Camilla has verified her own identity in Highway. She's proven she's an authorized representative of Con Enterprises. Green means go. It is OK for me to work with Camilla. So at Highway, we operate on three design principles. One, be the hardest target. Two, reduce total surface area of risk. I actually reversed those. Sorry, Jordan. Uh, it's reduce total surface area, be the hardest target, and there's good guys and bad guys. The other principle we operate on is be responsive and own the outcome. So the next thing we want to do is secure the transaction. And what we want to show you and what we want to communicate to you is that Highway is owning the outcome for that. And so for a Highway broker, we can assure you that you will be the hardest target for a bad actor. We will send them somewhere else. We will reduce your surface area of risk. And the next place after the inbox is in how you communicate with a carrier with respect to the rate confirmation, where that goes and who it goes to and what they do with it. So let's talk about load lock. Let's talk about offense. That rate confirmation is being sent from your TMSs all day, every day. 
Now, this is a product that we've designed painstakingly so that there's no disruption to the existing workflows and processes of your carrier reps. We want there to be no disruption to those processes. And what, what happened in the excitement over the past 12 months of taking so many customers live on highway is we continue to receive this question. And the question sounded something like, hey, what contact information are you going to be storing in my TMS? Or, hey, can you audit the contact information already in my TMS, and specifically the email addresses of those contacts? And as we learned more, what we found is folks were asking this question because the TMS is so dependent on that email address to know where to send a rate confirmation to. Now, as we all know, there's hundreds, there's thousands of old, stale, poor quality email addresses living in our TMS. And so there's a lot of uncertainty when that rate confirmation is sent. Today, we want all that to go away. We want that problem to go away. We want to take that problem. We want to take the responsibility of ensuring that a rate confirmation sent from a TMS lands in the inbox of an authorized representative of a carrier. And we're going to make a dynamic decision whenever that rate confirmation is sent to ensure that it is sent to someone who still works for the carrier. Let's use this example here. This is Extremes on time transport. A rate confirmation was sent through Extremes, and Highway knows, we know they have four power units. And yet, when that rate confirmation was sent, we can detect in real time this carrier's actually been sent 10, out of 10 other rate confirmations just within the last 24 hour period. He's overbooked his capability. There's a lot more we could show you, but what I, want, what I want you to understand is we go really deep on the who, the where they come from, and what their equipment is. We'd love to tell you more about how we want to help you secure both your network and your entire transaction. Thank you very much for your time today.